Prepositions of place. Prepositions of place. Prepositions of place tell us where plants, objects, persons, animals, etc. are. Prepositions of place answer the questions, where is? Or where are? We use on. 1. For someone or something whose location is on a surface of an object or place. Surfaces. 2. For someone or something whose location is inside a vehicle. Means of transport. 3. To refer to means of communication. 4. Before the name of the streets or avenues, without number. Incomplete addresses. On surfaces. Where are the books? The books are on the table. On surfaces. Where are the boys sitting? The boys are sitting on the fence. On surfaces. Where are the pictures hanging? The pictures are hanging on the wall. On. Means of transport. We can walk or stand up on the surface of a vehicle. Where are they? They are on the subway. They are on the bus. On. Means of transport. Where are they? They are on the plane. They are on a cruise. On means of communications. Where is she listening to music? She is listening to music on the radio. On means of communications. Where are you watching the movie? I'm watching the movie on TV. On means of communications. Where can she keep up with the news? She can follow the news searching on the internet. On incomplete addresses. Where is she? She is walking on Oxford Street. On incomplete addresses. Where are they? They are stuck in a traffic jam on 3rd Avenue. On versus above. 1. On gives us the idea of direct contact with the surface. It's also used to talk about means of communications, means of transport, and incomplete addresses. 2. Above gives us the idea that someone or something is above a specific point in relation to the other, which serves as a location reference point. Above. To a higher place or position than something or somebody. The lamp is above his bed. The temperature is 10 Celsius above zero. Above. To a higher place or position than something or somebody. The eyebrows are above the eyes. The house is in the mountains above the lake. Above. To a higher place or position than something or somebody. Please, sign above the line. The water came above our knees. In versus inside. We use in or inside. 1. For something or someone that is enclosed or contained in some space. 2. For some general information regarding someone or something located in large spaces without boundaries. In, inside versus outside. They are playing inside the house. They are playing outside the house. In or inside. Delimited space. Contained. They are in the car. They are inside the car. In or inside.
Delimited space. Contained. Where are the clothes? The clothes are in the drawer. The clothes are inside the drawer. In or inside. Delimited space. Contained. Where is your cell phone? My cell phone is in my pocket. It is inside my pocket. In. The preposition in is also used for open spaces. She lives in London. They are running in the park. In. The preposition in is also used for open spaces. They live in a quiet neighborhood. There is a big tree in the park. At. One, at is used to refer to time or place. Two, at is used to speak about an exact point or a specific time. Three, at also indicates a precise location where someone or something is. At. An exact point. Where are they? They are at the bus stop. At a precise location. Where are you? I'm at work. I'm at my desk. At a complete, full address. They work at 42 Street, number 501. Next to, beside, by. 1. The prepositions next to by, beside, mean that someone or something is adjacent to or immediately at the side of someone or something. 2. Next to, by, and beside as a preposition of place have the same meaning and use in sentences where we need to define the location of someone or something. Next to, beside, by. The boy is next to the girl next to or beside or by where is the cat the cat is next to the dog or the cat is beside the dog or the cat is by the dog near near to close one the preposition near means at a short distance from a person things or place two Near and near to mean the same, but near is more common. 3. Close to has the same meaning and use of near to. Near, close. They are near their car. They are close to their car. Near, close. Where is the boy? The boy is near his father. The boy is close to his father. Next to. Beside. By. Versus. Near. Close. The rabbit is next to, beside, or by the tree. The rabbit is near or close to the tree. Far from. If you say that something is far from a particular thing or person, it is not near. It is distant. It is far. The girl is far from her house. Far from. He is driving far from the car ahead. The dog is far from the sheep. Far away from. We use far away or far away from when we want to give the idea that someone or something is at a greater distance. The ship is far away from the coast. Far away from. The cows are far away from the mountains. Far away from. The man is far away from the city. Compare. Next to, 
beside, by, near, close to, far from, far away from, under, below, beneath, underneath. It is safe to use under in most situations as it can substitute below, beneath, and underneath. Under is used to describe that someone or something is covered by something. It is also used for a location under the tree, under the bed, under the table, etc. Below is used to compare two things in the same space or level. Beneath is used more in formal and written situations, but it has the same meaning as under. Underneath is very formal. It is used to emphasize some object under something. It also has the same meaning as under. Under. The boy is under the bed. The stools are under the coffee table. Under. The woman is under the umbrella. They stored their shoes under the bed. Below. At a lower level in relation to a point. The temperature is below zero. Below. At a lower level in relation to a point. Pedestrian crossing below the pedestrian overpass. Lucy and John live below Adam's apartment. Beneath. The cat is beneath the rock. The sun is beneath the horizon. Underneath. The subway runs underneath the city. He wears a cardigan underneath the coat. In front of. Be ahead of something or someone. The teacher is in front of the class. The bike is in front of the house. Behind. After. Be on the backside of something or someone. The boy is behind the gate. The boy is after the gate. The teacher is behind the students. The teacher is after the students. Between. Be in the middle of something or someone. The cat is between the dogs. The kids are between their parents. Between. Be in the middle of something or someone. Where is the yellow car? The yellow car is between the orange car and the blue car. Compare. 1. The rabbit is behind the tree. 2. The rabbit is between the trees. 3. The rabbit is in front of the tree. Among. Something or someone is surrounded or part of something. She is happy among her students. The lion is hunting among the lionesses. Opposite. Be on the other side of someone or something. In some sports, players are on opposite fields. Opposite. Diametrically different, of a contrary kind. The day is the opposite of night. Open is the opposite of closed. Thanks for watching.